Why, hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for stopping by. Today I have a review video of the Magic Fly 72 colored pencils, the three millimeter brake resistant lead pencils. Magic Fly was so generous to send this set of color pencils to me for review so that I can share it with you today. So, on the back of the metal tin, which you get with your 72 pencils, are all of the 72 unique colors with their names and numbers and light fast ratings. They say that they are professional quality, non-toxic, and they have unique colors. So the features of these pencils are professional grade, artist quality, break resistant, soft and strong, three millimeter cores, sturdy and comfortable barrels, smooth color lay down for superior blending and shading, 100% non-toxic, ideal for drawing, illustrating and coloring, pre-sharpened, premium pigments. So you also have their email address and their website and they encourage you to contact them if you have any problems with your set. So let's jump right on into getting into these pencils and having a look at them. In the inside of the 10, you have again your color chart or your color key with the pluses, the, um, indicating that there is a LightFast rating system, which there is no key to the LightFast rating system. So I'm just assuming that the five plus mean that that's the best LightFast and the lower ones like with the two is the lower rated LightFast ratings. I'm just assuming that because usually you're white and you're black and your browns usually have the best light fast rating of pigments. So that's the inside of the tin. Now let's look at all of the different pencils and their colors. Let's pull out this one here, which is pumpkin. And you have a dipped barrel color in. And there's magic fly on the end and the wording is in silver. You have all of your information and there's the tip of the pencil. So you get three trays and these are uh, supposed to be oil based pencils. That's what they are marketed as. So here are our three trays. So since I have not done a color chart yet, I'm going to take out all of these trays. Since I haven't done a color chart yet, I'm going to keep this out for reference so that I can know what colors I would like to use in these pencils. All right, so we are going to do a little bit of blending and swatching. We're not going to swatch all 72 of them, but we're going to test them out a little bit and then we're going to do a little blend test with them because I want for you to have a complete, a complete idea of these pencils and whether you would like to purchase them or not. So let's start out. I always like starting with the black pencil to see how the black pencil looks, whether it is uh, opaque and how it feels. And remember I said, it's all about how a pencil feels instead of asking if it's oil-based or wax-based. So these pencils do feel pretty creamy. I can definitely say that. And they do have a very nice amount of pigment. It does not take much to get your pigment onto the paper. So the black did very well in testing out the pigment quality of the black pencil. 
So next, let us try. Oh, I hate not having my pencils like in a pencil case. That's like, oh, I don't know if you're anything like that. But that's that's hard for me. <laughs> oh, that's hard for me to to deal with not having my pencils in a pencil case. So let's take the blood orange and the lemon. And I absolutely love the way that they have these pencils named and numbered. You know, I absolutely love my names and my numbers. So let's do a little bit of blending. So I'm gonna do a light hand and see what kind of blend we get. Do a few layers and see how many layers it can take. All right, doesn't seem to be wanting to take too many layers before it gets that stop but that's not abnormal all right let's see how do you think that blend worked out well let's just see let's color something with it Let's see about that. Let's go ahead and put it to the ultimate test. Take some of these trays off of my desk. And let's see about some greens. Let's work with a leaf. All right, so let's see. Maybe one of these leaves here. Let's start with this lighter green which is matcha. Can you see that? This green is matcha green. So let's go right here. Let me zoom you in a little bit. And get you into frame. Now let's see what we have here this time let's see okay going with the green on both ends I'm kind of light-handed with this now I'm going to take what color is this yellow just your basic yellow well I definitely can say that it's a creamy pencil and it behaves a lot like oil-based pencils that we know that are oil-based. You can, it, it's, it's like the feel of it. It's creamy, but, creamy, but firm if that makes any sense. And it, it, it definitely is a layering pencil. It definitely wants you to layer it. It, it does not want you to just blop, plop down a heavy layer of color and just go from there. So I'm barely touching the paper here. Now I'm going to go over that with this green. I kind of like this technique. Wow. See, these type of pencils teach me different techniques. So I'm not liking what happened over here. I'm just going to cover. Oh, I kind of like that technique too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let me get a little bit heavier handed where these shadows would be. Okay, I think I'm, I'm liking that. What do you think? 
So these pencils were able to do like two different kind of techniques, although one was kind of a mistake, but <laughs> well, not really a mistake. Let me try that one more time. Well, let me try some different colors. Okay, we know that that one works very well. Let me keep this yellow and let's try one of these flowers down here. How about, I'm, I'm very impressed with the fact that you don't have to, you know, touch the pencils to the paper very, very firmly in order to get like a pretty nice, rich, vibrant amount of color. So let's go with the orange and, oh, let's just highlight or trace, outline all of our flower petal. And then in all of my shading areas, so this is like a review video and a tutorial all in one. You know how I do it. You know how the Dollar Diva do it. She likes to give you a two for one special or a three for one special or a four for one special. <laughs> one video, four lessons and reviews and such. This is definitely a layering pencil. I can definitely say that. Usually your more oily pencils are more geared towards wanting you to layer them than blending if that makes any sense if you need clarification on that please leave a comment below and i will make a video to explain that but right now we are focusing on these magic fly pencils and we are layering and layering and layering and layering let me take a blender pencil well let me take the white pencil and see how it does with um, like blending the colors in and burnishing. It does pretty good. It doesn't change the color. So that would mean this white pencil, oh, I just dirtied up. It looks like Cheeto dust now is on my paper. Well, I'm not going to worry about it. I would erase it, but I'm not going to worry about it. So that would mean that this white pencil is not very opaque. But sometimes that, that may be what you, you're looking for, what you're going for. So I've burnished it. So let's see if I can go over again with color. Yes, it's still accepting color. So that would mean you can get quite a few layers on your coloring item. See that? All right. So we have tested out everything that I think we pretty much needed to test out. If you have any questions about these pencils, leave it in the comments below. These are an oil-based pencil. They smell like an oil-based pencil. They perform like an oil-based pencil. I think they're pretty oily to say the least. So they are creamy though. They, they're creamy and they're pretty smooth. So that's my review of these Magic Fly colored pencils. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. And that's all I'm going to ask of you today, okay? And maybe tomorrow I'll ask you to subscribe. <laughs> all right, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of the day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye.